that is part of my speech today. A very warm welcome to everyone and to our honored guests, Member of Parliament, Edmund. Thank you for your presence. It's a big moment for this parish to be in any record books. It's really such an honor to have the parish come alive for this occasion. And I know you've come from far and wide, so I really thank all of you. Now, this achievement comes under arts and entertainment. That means I will have to entertain you maybe just with one song, and maybe during the song, the officials can confirm the measurements again. This is the first ever biggest floating crib in Malaysia. And just a reminder that Pope Francis said the importance of the crib to signify why Christ came into the world, to unify everyone irrespective of race and religion, that we all get to know God in our own culture, in our own way. God doesn't have a problem with that. We have that problem. So we welcome people from other faiths who are here with us also. So as I sing this, just a little background. When I asked my creative team, especially those that do the crib, Victor and his wife, I said I want a floating crib. They thought I was crazy. Because everything in the parish, in a sense, floats. One day I will come round from the ceiling for the midnight mass. But there's a very good reason. And he had to think over that and have nightmares. Finally he came up with this idea. He said, he asked me, have I seen the movie Avatar? And I said, yes. You remember the beautiful planet behind the moon called Pandora, where the world was so perfect. Gravity was so amazing. The flora and the fauna, that even the mountains, probably the Alleluia Mountains, were floating. And that brought to mind for me our disappearing hills in Ipoh. One day these hills that we have, these beautiful hills in Ipoh, will be taken down because maybe human greed and it affects everyone. So in this hymn, it's not night. That's why we have the night scene. When Christ was born, it was night, right? And the three wise men, it's not actually three wise men. The Bible says, wise men came. We said three because of the three gifts, gold, myrrh, and frankincense. There were so many wise men at that time, including myself. But, <laughs> My camel was very slow. <laughs> it was camel proton, so I didn't make it in time. So we are reminded today as we celebrate also the feast of the Holy Family that we ask for God's blessing on our family, on our community. And also we pray for broken families, single mothers, and all those that did not have a very Merry Christmas like us. We honor all of them, especially children today. Silent.
from, from everywhere, all partners, welcome, welcome to our event. And in our mix, we have Mr. Aaron Wong, Manager of Event and Corporation Committee, and Mr. Chui Xia, Research Executive from Malaysian Book of Records. We also welcome them. So we now have our, we will now invite our special guest. We are privileged to have him. He is none other than Dato Sri YB Dato Sri Dr. Edmund Santara. Now let me tell you that he has taken his time, scheduled, he just came back from Sagamad after visiting his flood victims uh, from his constituency. He has uh, just arrived from Johor and we will give him a round of applause and we are much privileged to have him in our midst. So, God has touched me in uh, 
various ways because when the doctors and surgeons had told me that nothing that they could do and there wasn't anybody who were willing to do the surgery on the day and I have somebody very special on the day who flew to Malaysia and happened to be his name is Michael Morgan with blue eyes and this guy told me that well uh, we have 30% chance if you make it but I cannot guarantee you you will be talking and I cannot guarantee you that you will be normal again so I took the chances and I did my first surgery and I told God that if I make it then I'll go to public service and so on so that's how I got into uh, politics and so on and more importantly when I saw the creep it struck me the effort that you put in the effort that you put in picking outside the box solving the problem and so on is amazing and I just wish that our politicians who sit in parliament and also who sit in the state assembly would have that kind of perseverance to solve people's problems, to put that kind of effort and so on to show our way of life. Thank you. There's a saying, you know, every, every successful, at the back of every successful man, there is a woman. So we also give a round of applause to Nathan Sri. She would have gone through all obstacles as well. for all of you. You watched that video right just now? Yeah? Are you all white so quiet? Come on! You saw the video clip just now, the making of the grip? Yeah. yeah. So, what did you see in that grip? If you can tell me that one answer, your phone is paid today. <laughs> you see the couple, every time they work, for two months, they are well uniformed. The husband wears yellow, the wife wears yellow. The husband wears red, the wife wears red. The husband wears green, the wife wears green. They are very well uniformed. Did you watch that? Yes. Don't bluff. <laughs> that is called for happy family. The husband, the wife sacrifice, the children sacrifice. That this is the gift of pure sacrifice from that family. We will give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. So now we have come to the most uh, very important time, a ceremony. We will call upon uh, Mr. Aaron, Manager of Event and Cooperation Committee, Mr. Chuin Xia, Research Executive, Mr. Aaron Bo would like to have a word to, to describe what they want. Hi, good afternoon to Father Patrick, uh, YB, and everyone who are present here today. So, uh, this is my first time to this parish, and it's a very beautiful uh, parish with a crowd here today. And uh, thanks, Father Patrick and Victor and everyone here for welcoming us. So, uh, for as just now as we have seen the video, it took Victor, although it looks uh, simple, but it took Victor two months and uh, his lovely wife to complete this. So, uh, the, let's give Victor a round of applause. I think uh, the Malaysia World Record do not just give out record, we also value the effort by an individual or a company who put in effort to break the record. We look into the process and how it unite and enlighten the people uh, who achieve the record together and to bring the parish together. So, uh, so we are very proud from the Malaysia World Record and we are here to certify that Victor Arulandu is a uh, listed into the Malaysia Book of Record for the biggest floating Christmas grip with a total 13 feet in width, 9.5 feet in height and 11.1 feet in depth. And so, uh, congratulations once again. I think we can have the certificate presentations from only now. I would like to thank 
each and every one of you for taking uh, your time and joining this special occasion. A special thank to YB Datuk Sri Dr. Edmund Santara and uh, despite of his busy schedule this year, okay, we first together with his uh, wife Datuk Sri Kali Tikus. Okay, also uh, to Mr. Aaron Wong, okay, manager of the event and corporate com, and Mr. Chun Siang, research executive from Malaysia Book Record. Last but not least, our very own parish priest, Reverend Father Patrick Massa, and to all of you, please give him a round of applause. Uh, my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to uh, Reverend Father Patrick Masan, who has great ideas and inspiration in art and share his idea and started the spark, okay, the spark of creating uh, suspended Bethlehem scene, okay, uh, with God's guidance and with the support and help from my beautiful wife. Okay, an idea became a reality. I thank you for that. But of course, uh, when you say floating, you see, I'll be like, I can't sleep for one week. Okay, I'm thinking how to make it float, how to make it float. Okay, I got a few ideas, you know, I come out, okay, just float the buildings up, uh, or float the, you know, hold uh, the barn, you know, full barn floating there. I'm thinking, doesn't logic, the logic is not there, okay? So I have to think out of the box. Actually, yeah, a small, uh, this year it marked as around 10 years plus I'm doing this uh, trip with my wife, setting up the nativity, nativity scene in this church. And I'm also so blessed to achieve this award on behalf of the Church of Water to Help. I'm proud to say that this masterpiece created has been recognized by Malaysia Book of Record for the very first time. Okay? Uh, with the great and joy and happiness together with parish priests and also all my parishioners and other parishioners and all the friends. And of course, I cannot forget uh, my, my parents and my kids, okay? Because when we are spending here 24 hours here, <laughs> whole day, but all my kids, like, they'll be asking me if I, even my house decorations so I did so last minute. Okay, and my father and mother, without them, they never take care of my kids. Sure, they also feel very, you know. So every time they will say, no, father, never mind, you can go. Our parents, uh, our, my mother and my father will take care of them. Now. So in that confidence, I and my wife, we are like, few times we will went back home around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, to, to complete this by the... Advent, before the Advent, lah, but still. So, okay, with great joy and happiness together with our parish priest, my family and all the friends, I say thank you. Also here in our presence, actually, is another person. It's too shy, I won't mention his name. Before they even released the Book of Records, he achieved the longest, during Chinese New Year, the longest dragon built in Kuala Lumpur. So one day, when it's time for the dragon to be here, we hope to meet that feat and we will call the Nesi Book of Records to measure the dragon that's going to be all around this place. Because this script is just stage one. We want this church to be famous for the floating crib, which means it's going to extend next year and the following year, the years to come, we're going to have really the best floating crib ever. We want to be in the record almost, at least for the next four years while I'm still in power here. <laughs> Alright, so this is a number for those that have just arrived because they missed the first part of the caroling by the choir and myself. So this is, what child is this? I don't have the words there, but you know the words, please join in, that we remember what child is this that grew up to teach us so many things in life and we continue to look at the crib and thank God for the gift of Christ in our lives. What child is this?
were distracted and always close your eyes and 